So hello everybody, my name is Tom McLennigan and I'm the Executive Director and one of the co-founders of Equal Aqua Uganda. I would like to express our deep gratitude to Festival Medical Services for providing us with a very generous grant that has allowed us to expand our work within Uganda here. So what our objective as an organisation is to tackle some of the inequalities that communities in Uganda have around water, sanitation and hygiene. And what we've been able to do with this grant money is work with eight different groups throughout Uganda to improve their water, sanitation and hygiene skills and knowledge. So one of the groups that we've been working with is here in eastern Uganda, Konunga High School. As you'll see from the video, the students have been extremely engaged and we've taught them a series of six different skills sessions around water, sanitation and hygiene. So we've taught them how to make liquid soap, bar soap, hair shampoo, reusable sanitary pads, as well as business skills that would then enable the students to turn these skills into entrepreneurial opportunities. Here in the video, you can see us delivering a series of skills trainings. The location is Konga High School. This is my previous high school in Eastern Uganda. I was very proud to return to the school to pass on the skills that I have learned and we were given a very warm welcome. As you can see, over 150 students participated in our workshops. Here, the Equal Aqua volunteers are teaching the students how to make liquid soap. This is just one part of the series of the training which also include how to make bath soap, how to make hair shampoo, and other wash products. We teach in a hands-on way so that the students can learn and retain these practical skills. Okay. Being able to make their own products, we will allow the students to keep their school clean and support their families and communities. We also work with community groups such as Kongwede Youth Group that is located in the far east of Bukedia district. We deliver training programs which often help to provide these groups with necessary skills to gain employment. This is especially critical for young girls and women who face difficulties in finding sustainable work opportunities. Schools in Uganda were closed for almost two years due to the outbreak of COVID-19, which many students did not return, and there was an increase in teenage pregnancy. We want to provide new skills that will support livelihoods and local economies. In this section of the video, we are at Chakatu refugee camp which is one of the biggest refugee camps in Uganda, with over 150,000 people who were displaced after the many conflicts in DRC Congo. 80% of its population are women and young girls, which makes them the sole providers for their families. We were able to train a women's group on how to make reusable sanitary towels. Among some of the other groups that we've been working with in 2022 are those with disabilities. So we've been engaging especially with Imbali School for the Deaf and the student population there who are not only those uh, with hearing impairments but they also, many of them have multiple and quite complex disabilities. So we're really keen to work with this group and to provide our vocational training program. As you can see, we're delivering the skills training with the assistance of an interpreter into sign language uh, which means that our message is more clear and we also make sure that we write down the ingredients and the processes so the students are able to note it down in their workbooks and revise it over time. As we keep coming back to these groups, we ensure that the learning has been really embedded and provide revision and top up sessions and support the students to then turn this learning into reality and produce these products for themselves. People with disabilities have been left out in all spheres of life. 
But as Eco Aqua Uganda, we are delivering better education outcomes for them.